six hours sleep. Probably could use about 12 at this point with playing so much. Rajers, what does that word actually mean? I'm unsure. It would be nice to know. Getting ready to start my timer. And three, two, one, blast off. Alright. So my timer's about one second off. Okay. Okay. It means welfare? Oh, okay. So let's watch the attacking Mendo Kusai on Valfard. Being healed up and damage amped by Bruxy on Mercy. They have also decided to go with a Zenyatta and a Genji for this beginning leg, as well as Reinhard Zarya for their tanks. Defense has a pretty standard setup. They've got the Fearsome Foursome plus McCree and Zarya. Right now, the payload is pushing rather swiftly through this first choke point. It looks like uh, SG1 is actually getting dunked on, in my professional opinion. So let's listen for that chime. Checkpoint at 56 seconds. This fight's deep. So that is going to come into play. If they cannot take the second checkpoint, then it is who took the first checkpoint fastest that determines the winner of the map. So very, very fast push here to get things started for Valfar. They are pretty much crushing. So Mendo doing a good job knocking away defenders, landing those direct rocket hits. Let's go ahead and watch Genji. And see what all he's able to accomplish out in the back line already of SG1 just tossing shurikens for free. McCree finally shows up. Zappus on SG1 shuts him down. Go back to actually let's let's watch Zenyatta, why not? Zenyatta doesn't get a lot of spectating time, and that's the reason why. Nevik's actually switching over to Reaper now. Excuse me, guys. I did have a snack between rounds, and I can feel it <laughs> as I start talking here. Mendo leaping forward again here inside the church looking for targets. Again, all the blue outlines that you see are actually enemies when we're spectating the attackers. Nevix back on Reaper now. We'll see if he can manage to take out this Lucio, and he does. He drops that 50 HP orb on the ground. His soul... Oh, I think that was a missed teleporter. He was trying to actually get up onto the higher ground there and ended up only going to that slight ledge. Zenyatta popping his ultimate to counteract the Zarya ultimate and ends up keeping everybody alive, actually. Reinhardt and Mercy ults both available for offense. Reinhardt could charge in, spin around, and drop that hammer down, Earth Shatter, to set up for his team. Reaper awaiting nearby, just in case. Getting a few shots off and actually taking out the enemy McCree and Mercy. Barrage coming down from Mendo as well. Lucio taking heavy fire with that Discord orb. Wraithwalk is going to allow Reaper to pick up that full health pack and finish the job. He might also go back in for Zarya. Yes, he does. We don't have a health bar, but we know that orb of Discord is something Zarya does not want to have. And there's checkpoint number two at 306. Yep, I agree. 306 is the time to be for checkpoint two. So now they've set a new leg here. Yeah, his lack of reload is pretty awesome, you're right. Let's go ahead and watch Clanton as the offensive Zarya here for Valfard. They are two pushing this whole time while Reaper and Zarya move forward with the Harmony Orb and Shields. Really good composition here, switching from Genji to Reaper now. Basically just protect the Reaper as he is gonna be able to dish out the most damage. Payload is pushing very, very swiftly. Defense unable to contest. It looks like they've been unable to regroup this whole time. I'm not even going to switch to the free cam because I basically haven't had time to catch it up and it's going to be non-stop action from here out. So it looks like defense did actually get a hold there. Switching to the free cam now to try and speed along inside here. Whoa, what happened? Oh, I got hijacked. <laughs> Sometimes the camera hijack still happens while you're in free cam even if there's no other spectators. So defense has regained control of the payload here. Go ahead and keep this vantage point for the rest of the map here. And switch on to Mendo as the attacking Pharah once again. 
74% of her ultimate, that barrage can be so good for cleaning out choke points. Uh, Zarya actually has her ult, so I always enjoy seeing a nice first person Graviton Surge, ends up getting played the game quite often. There it is, but I don't know that anyone was actually able to capitalize on it. Let's go ahead and zoom out. You can see Barrage is happening on both sides, and Mafu actually going down there as the uh, defending Farah. All of defense is essentially wiped here. Let's spin around and watch them come back out of the spawn here. Lucio breaks it down, but really only catches a couple of teammates. Mercy with the offensive res, defensive Mercy getting killed, Nevix with the Death Blossom in the door, and that's it. That's about a 4.52 time. No, actually, Zarya ult does catch them, so H-Y-M-Z-I, him Z, trying to prevent. Uh, it looks like a five minute time will be set here for Valfar. Very, very quick push on Dorado. Play of the game. He was never done. Let me do that. I'll switch my overlay here. <clears throat> They're going to be red this time. Valfard will be defending, so they'll be blue. And that is a tough, that's going to be a tough time to beat for basically anyone. Five minutes, three seconds is very swift. I feel like you can kind of see the Overwatch esports scene being young, then again I've only seen a few hours of the game on any kind of stream. Yes, it, it is still young, but the game has been out now for a month and a half almost, uh, for many of these players. Make sure my clock is on the right side here, always on the red side for time to beat. Yes, it is. All right, cool. Okay, so this time around, Valfard is on defense. SG1 will be on offense. Get my timer ready to go here so you guys can see it. And go. Okay. Five minutes, three seconds here for the offense to try to complete the entire map. Can be quite a difficult order here. I'm gonna go ahead and watch a Zappis as the offensive McCree here for SG1. Ooh, did he actually score that kill already? No, he didn't. It looked like he had actually picked them off, but it was actually Mercy just falling over a rooftop. T-Silver on defense has been eliminated though, Lucio. Still taking some free shots on Farah, unable to finish the job. Payload is pushing very swiftly though. They're moving quick through the map. That first choke point not ending up uh, being a difficult problem for either attacking team. Actually, defense looking a little bit more solid here for Valfard than it did there uh, when they were attacking. Let's go ahead and scoot the payload cam all the way over to the next leg so we can switch to it when we need to. And then we'll go back on to Mafu, the attacking Farah. Looking for those targets in the back line, trying to score some direct hits onto Reinhardt while his shield is in front of him. Letting his team push forward a little bit more. There's a Fire Strike, a Winston Leap. We've got rockets coming down on Zarya with no shield on. There's the shield. 
we've got the defensive Zarya ult not really catching a lot. Actually, it did catch a couple of players, but no real follow-up means the attackers only lost Reinhardt there while the defense lost a Lucio, Farah, and Zarya throughout that exchange. And it looks like they are going to push the payload here to the first point with about 3 minutes 24 seconds left. So they were about 30, 30, 40 seconds slower than the attacking team, Valfard. Uh, we have lots of ultimates available. Check that out on the offensive side. We've got Deadeye, Resurrection, Barrage, Earth Shatter, and Winston's Primal Rage. Keenel. Keenel? Keenel? <laughs> Is the mercy here on the attacking team. Providing healing and damage amp to Farah throughout. Wow, that uh, Mercy was way up on the rooftop there. Reaper actually getting switched to for defense by Nevix. Nevix drops that Death Blossom. Not sure what he actually got done there, but there's five dead on offense, so it must have been a good one. Let's go ahead and watch Hawks as he's the last one standing here on offense. He's actually going to back all the way out. His shield is recharging, but he's going to need some heals. There he does catch up with Lucio. Maybe Mercy will show him some love, but right now Winston's out in the front. Going to switch back over to Zappis on McCree, looking for those airborne targets. Farah and Mercy. There he does pop Mercy, but does not quite get the kill. So McCree does have damage fall off. The longer, the farther away the target is, the less damage they will take. Shooting them from that range is almost useless unless you're hitting them over and over and over, and that can be very difficult to do. There's that offensive Lucio ult, bringing everyone's health back up. Let's go ahead and scoot the payload cam on over to where we are here. We got that defensive Mercy Res to bring up everybody once more on the blue side, as well as the Lucio ult, giving that 500 HP buffer to everybody. Switching on to the offensive Lucio here, Rebelly, to see what he is able to do to keep his team alive. There's that defensive Zarya ult, but only Reinhardt gets caught, and he's got his shield, so he'll be just fine. Lucio switching to the speed boost to allow players to get back into the fight a little bit quicker. But the payload has been regained here. 1 minute 20 seconds left for the offense to try and make something happen here. Don't know if they're going to be able to do it. Reaching the next checkpoint will be really nice for them, but that push from Valfard was just so fast. Who knows if 70 seconds is going to be enough. There's that Death Blossom coming in. Does actually finish off Lucio before he can drop the bead. The payload is very close to this next checkpoint, but they've got to push all the rest of the entire map here in just 55 seconds. And with three people dead, that's going to be quite a tall order. Watching Zappus once again with Deadeye, maybe if he can hit a super good ult, but even time with contesting, I have to feel like it's going to be a very difficult task. McCree not going around the backside of the enemies to try and pop his Deadeye, instead just walking forward with the team. No one is contesting for defense right now, but only 30 seconds left for SG1 to try and set a better time. Otherwise, Valfard will take map one here on Dorado. I see a D.Va hopping around now. Mendoku has switched over from Farah to D.Va in order to contest the payload a lot easier. There's a flash and fan onto Zarya after she ults, but unfortunately, 13 seconds left means that this is a foregone conclusion. So Valfard is going to win map number one just five more seconds, but good job to SG1 for reaching the second checkpoint. 